Hello, and welcome to another Still Behind the Bench micro video. This one's going to be on diastatic power. I wanted to do this video so that I can get the definition and rule of thumb out of the way, so when I use it in a series of videos coming up soon, I won't have to re-describe what it is. So what is diastatic power? Well, it's just a determination of the quantity of starch-reducing enzymes within malted grains. Why do you want to know this? Well, so when you make your mash bill or grain bill, you'll know whether or not there are enough enzymes in order to convert all the starches in those grains and to possibly convert starches in any other grains you add to that mash as well. As we all know, unmalted grains don't have any enzymes in them. But torrified, flaked, and toasted grains also don't have any enzymes in them because the enzymes have been denatured. So what are the values used for diastatic power? Well, in North America, they use degrees Lintner. These are the values I'll probably be using. In Europe, they use windage kolbach And then in order to convert between the two, here's the formula. So you may see either of these values pop up on a malt spec sheet to tell you how much diastatic power there is. And you can just convert it to whichever one you use. Like I said, I'll be using degrees Lintner. So what values are we looking for when we're going to be coming up with our mash bill or grain bill. Traditionally speaking, the rule of thumb is going to be between 30 and 35 degrees Lintner is the diastatic power value you need in order for the quantity of grains to be able to mash or to be able to convert its own starches into fermentable sugars. If it's lower than that, you won't have enough uh, enzymes in order to convert all the fermentable or all the starches into fermentable sugars. That value in windage kolbach would be around 89, is it 89? Yes, 89 degrees to 107 degrees windage kolbach. Now, if you're going to be adding other grains to your mash as well, you want the base malt to have a minimum diastatic power value of 70 degrees Lintner or 226 degrees windage kolbach. That will give you enough enzymes to convert not only that grain, but also an equal or maybe slightly higher mass of an adjunct grain as well. So for an example, malted corn typically only ranges between 30 and 35 degrees Lintner. So it can only ever convert itself. If you then added in rolled oats or torrified wheat, then those starches would never get converted. Whereas you have something like a malted six row barley, it has a very high diastatic power. I think it's the highest. It's around 160 degrees Lintner. So it can convert a lot of extra starches as well. And that's it for diastatic power. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and have a great week.